On Friday, the National Disaster Prevention and Preparedness Multisectoral Committee hosted two fairs across Trinidad and Tobago as part of the commemoration of National Disaster Pre Prevention and Preparedness Month. Tobago's, Tobago took Tobago's took place at the Sid Gray Complex, Roxborough. More in this report. Residents of Tobago East got an opportunity to receive first-hand information to ensure their readiness this wet season through a fair hosted by the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management, ODPM. Today's event is actually the second of its type. There was one about two weeks ago held in Portmore, Scarborough, but it's important that we get to those within the communities, those who may not be able to access, you know, the cities and the towns, and therefore that is why we are here in Roxborough Community. And it's not only the last event, there will be several other events, not only in the month of May, but throughout the wet and hurricane season, like its nature, bring the information to the people. Mr. Batch explained the ODPM has developed an immersive approach to have attendees empowered. It's a matter of becoming involved, understanding the potential for your risk based on information presented to you, and being able to identify potential vulnerabilities and hazards around you so that you can implement strategies to reduce your risk and improve your resilience as an individual. The Tobago Emergency Management Agency team was also part of the initiative. The agency's GIS specialist, Darian Mitchell, outlined a few safety tips shared during the event. Simple things as ensuring that you have enough equipment or items within your emergency kit, having a family communication plan. In times of emergency, one of the first things that would usually go down is communication. So we will not be able to call our friends and families to see if they are okay. So we should really ensure that we have a communication plan in advance as well as an organized muster point. Several other stakeholders, including the police and the fire services, National Commission for Self-Help, and the THA's Department of Social Services were part of the fair. Carissa Douglas, TTT News.